Hello, I'm the Budget Modder, and this is episode 40 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we're going to be gluing that cover into the gunner's area. Then, once that's done, we'll get some of the parts in that area painted. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we go, that's all the gunner's position stuff hairy-sticked that needed hairy-sticking. Now, 
for the two MG34s. Let's get these bad boys sorted, shall we? There we go, that's the MG34's hairy sticked. Next up, we have the gunner sight. So, let's get the black done on this. There you go, there's the gunner sight done. Well, the black bit anyway. Didn't take long, did it? Next up, it's all the steel parts. I'm using Alclad's 115 stainless steel for this. So, let's get them done. There we go, that's all the steel parts done. Now, Alclad's 120 gun metal for the breech block. To be honest, I'm glad I caught up with the guys from Alclad at Telford this weekend, as this gun metal looks very purple with little to no metallic to it. Apparently, if you give it several coats, it looks the mutt's nuts. And if it doesn't, Fred, I'm coming looking for you. Anyway, here we go. I'm also doing the MG34s as well. Now for a second coat of steel. There we go, that is the steel done. Now I'm going to go over the breech block with Tamiya's gun metal, but I will now go back over it with Alclad's, as at the time I was doing this I didn't know about doing several layers when you did this, it just didn't look right to me. I thought it was a paint, it's not, it's me, as per usual. So let's crack on. And there you go, we're done with the gunmetal bits. Well, for the moment, we're going to revisit those later. Anyway, now to paint some parts khaki. So, let's get those done, shall we? That's the khaki done. Next it's the gunner's sight. 
We'll be painting that in Dunkel Gelb. And now this container in the turret. And a couple of other parts in the gunner's area. There you go, that's the Dunkel Gelb done for the Mo. We'll probably come back to it later on. Now for a bit of a sand wash on the interior. I'm using Humbrol's enamel sand wash, but before I use it, I flood the area with white spirits. This thins it out a lot and allows for a better transition between the two. So here we go. There we go, looking good. Ooh, get me doing a show and tell. There's a new one for you. Anywho, this seems like as good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 40. If you want to see what happens in episode 41, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling. <laughs>